So the captain has been speaking about a certain player who just come in to the squad. Hello and welcome to this video. You could like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I much appreciate it. Liking out the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's faces, and subscribing lets me know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when videos go live. So, one of the things is that we got in Matt Lowe from the other side, and it, Barry Vanner said it could prove as an inspiration in the addition. Now, he played, it's been the first time for 74 years to make the move from Sheffield United to six, And the star, where are you from? Uh, Ban have been turning around saying, he's a great signing, the experience got said. He's a bit unlucky with a couple of injuries at Sheffield United, so if we can keep him fit, we've got a very good fullback on our hands. The signings all got good experience, some of the Premier League, some in the Championship. They're not too young, they know the league, and I'm looking forward to playing with them. If we can keep adding quality, then I said last season, we do the right thing, we'll be challenging the other end. And this is the thing, if you have that kind of mentality already, from your skipper going, if we do the right thing we did, we'll be challenging the other end, which is something we like to see. And I like that confidence in us and how we're doing. Bringing in Charlie McNeil at the Man United exit was really smart as well. Uh, it looked like there was work as well for to bring in Nathaniel Chalaber and possible talks still ongoing about Ugbo and Pravader. So there's still a lot more that could be done. This is the first Big rebuild, and I mean big rebuild on turn off, turnaround of players in the championship for a very long time. And I think it's been needed. We needed someone to come in and put their own stamp on it and not just do the same with what we've already had. And I think that's a slight issue at times. Sometimes you, it's all right keeping the people who've been around who've do, been there, done it. But it can sometimes get too stale if you're having the same people over and over again and you're not changing up a little bit. With Danny and Chancery and Kevin Beadle, they're seeing what we need. They're seeing what we can do. Now, the summer transfer window is going a lot better than the January window. The issue we had in the January window, a lot of people just did not want to come to work for Danny at that moment in time. And B, they didn't want to be part of a relegation scrap. They wanted to know where they would be and how they would be getting on. Now they know they are part of uh, a non-relegation scrap as such. It makes it a lot easier for them. And it makes them easier to see what happened. And you see what we did last season. They can buy into what Danny's trying to build. Now, Matt will provide us a lot of experience. And again, the big thing in this one was Barry Bannon going, if we can keep him fit. And I see, you know, I know a lot of people on the channel when we announced Max Lowe were very much like, oh, great, we've got another sick note player. Uh, he's not going to stay fit. This is a risky tech. It's a risky take with these kind of signings because we have been well known for bringing players in who have got injury records along your arm and they're just continuing. But we've also had it where there have been injury records where they've been okay. Kieran Westwood was a classic example of someone who kept on getting injuries left, right, and center, and he came to Wenton, didn't really have that many injuries. He missed consistency. Now, I know goalkeepers are a really bad example on position, but if we can get Max up to speed, playing the football Danny likes, and playing how we're going to do, here's the thing. People have got to remember this, is this isn't going to be the style we saw last season from Danny. This is going to be a completely different style of how we play. I take it back to the Sunderland game. I think the Sunderland game, like end of last season, you saw a little glimpse of what Danny was trying to do. Lots of quick passes, lots of movement, lots of trying to get people forward. And when they are going back, people getting back into position quickly. The break is going to be quicker. The counter-attack is going to be quicker. You're going to want people who can pass the ball. And you're going to want people who are quick with their feet as soon as they've got the ball. And having that intelligence to know there's going to be a press on here, on us, we need to get the ball away faster. Uh, but we've also seen Danny not scared to change it if it doesn't feel like it's working. It could get to like the September international break and it's not worked yet, so he tweaks it a little bit. And they work on it again in the September international break. You hope this six weeks with them will help. Having most of the players in before we go to Germany is more ideal than most, but 
I think we go to Germany next week and I don't know what day we go to Germany, but ideally you want them in now if you're going to get it all done and then add a little bit if need be in the August part of the window because once you're up and running, you'll start knowing match day situations where you're missing stuff or where there might be injuries and stuff like that. So you don't want to have that situation. So Max, if they fit, Captain says will be a very acquis- very good acquisition for us and do well. But I like what Barry's saying and I like the confidence. Let's see. Let's see what happens. <laughs>